Kevin in Bull Verde, Texas? Well, that sounds like a lot of bull. <laughs> he writes to me and he says, hey, when considering a preamplifier, what differences does it make if it's a class A, A, B, or D? Uh, should the class types of the preamp and amp be matched? I've never heard of a class D preamplifier, and I'm sure that's for good reason. I mean, there's no reason to do that. So typically, a preamplifier would be class A. Very few are not, unless you're, unless it's all chip based, and even then, it's going to be mostly class A. Maybe the output stage of a chip is going to be class A, B. Uh, but, I mean, we're talking about so little current here. So, to start with, most preamps, I think, can easily qualify as Class A. Perhaps the bigger question, then, is if we assume that we have a Class A preamplifier, what about matching it up with a power amplifier? How do we determine if we want a Class D or a Class AB or a Class H or a Class a or whatever and I think the matching of the preamp and the power amplifier really doesn't matter. I don't see a correlation between the two. So for example, we could very easily have a vacuum tube preamplifier running class A into a class D amplifier which is a pulse width modulated amplifier, and have a great sound. That could be a very synergistic match. In fact, our M1200 power amplifier is built exactly that way. We have a vacuum tube input stage, and we have a Class D output stage and a switching power supply. And that's a great amplifier. It's a truly terrific amplifier. It's the synergy that the designers put together of this type versus this type, and we do it intellectually, of course, begin with, but at the end of the day, by ear. And we match these two up. So you could have the opposite. You could have a tube power amplifier driven by a solid state preamplifier. I think the best way to look at this is not to try and figure out from a spec sheet what to do, but to start doing your homework, listening finding out what other people are doing and why they're doing. They're not looking at it like this is a Class A product, I'm going to hook it up to this other Class A product because that may not be the greatest synergy. To a Class A preamp and a Class A amplifier may not be the best synergy. So you really need to look at the whole thing. How do your speakers sound? What, where are they deficient? All speakers are deficient. There is no such thing as a perfect speaker. So where are they deficient? Where are they falling down? Where do they excel? What can you compromise over here to make all of this come up to the best that you can have? And I think that's the answer that you're really looking for, if that makes sense. I hope it does. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.